everybody, it's Tyler Austin from Gun Gear Strategic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to consider subscribing to either my player or my Patreon channel for exclusive content, as well as early access to my free content like this. With that being said, in this video, I'm gonna be talking again about CQB footwork, and I'm gonna be talking in particular about how we properly take individual steps. This is gonna be a continuation of the video I posted about a week ago. Um, in regards to the set step. If you haven't watched that, be sure to check that out first. Um, but again, I'm gonna be talking about how we take, uh, how we properly take individual steps when we're slicing out a room or, or angles or whatever. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right, so for this example, I'm going to slice out this room with the open door. So I am going to approach once exposure is gained, I'm going to enter my set step. If you don't know what that is, go watch my video from a week ago. Now, here I have decided I'm gonna start slicing out this room. So how am I going to take individual steps? So right now, if I've entered my proper set step, my outboard foot is going to be forward and my rear, and obviously my inboard foot would be behind. Now, the biggest point here is that I always drive off my rear foot. So I never want to be um, stretching out with my lead foot and then dragging myself into these angles. That's called stepping and dragging. That's probably the biggest mistake people make with this. I'll talk more about that um, later in this video. But I always want to drive off my rear foot. So what that's generally going to look like is I'm going to step slightly closer with my, with my tail foot, my, with my rear foot. So my rear foot's gonna step closer to my lead foot and then I'm going to drive off my rear foot and step into the next angle. Notice how I'm not stepping out like this. I step my rear foot closer and I step into the next angle. And that is really all the nuance that is to it. Now, also, again, because we ended up in this good set step position, remember in my last video, I talked about how we always maintain this position as we are slicing out the angles. So it'd be pointless for me if I took the step and then did something like this. So after every step and during every step, my, uh, my lead foot, my outboard foot, the toes stay oriented towards the edge uh, of this, in this case, the door frame. My hips and my shoulders also maintain their orientation towards uh, the door frame in this case. So at, with each step, my toes land still pointed towards the, uh, towards the edge of this uh, door frame, and my hips and my shoulders also stay oriented towards it. So with each step, I, it's just a readjustment of the footwork and the slight position. But basically, my toes, my hips, and my shoulders orbit, in this case, around the door frame or whatever corner or edge I am slicing around. So they orbit around it. So I'm here, all right, I step with my tailing foot or my rear foot closer to my leading foot and I drive off that and I step into the next angle. Step in, step, step in, drive, step in, drive. Okay, that's what it looks like. So at real speed, quote unquote, there's different speeds at which you can do this but at real speed, uh, this is what it's gonna look like. So the biggest mistake people make in regards to this is gonna be something I call stepping and dragging. So what that looks like is instead of driving off their tail or their rear foot, um, they step out with their lead foot and then drag the rest of their body into the angle, primarily their eyes and their gut. The problem with this is, if I step out with my lead foot, my lead foot is going to, my lead foot and my leg is going to break the angles I'm stepping into long before my eyes and my gun do, which is a massive problem because if somebody was standing in that angle, he is going to see this foot and my leg long before my eyes and my gun get there to see him, which means he's able to see me before I'm able to see him. And really the foundation to any good CQB methodology 
is the idea of I want to see before being seen, meaning I want to be able to see a potential threat before he sees me, or at the very least, put myself in a position to where um, he's not able to see me before I'm able to see him. And if I do this, this allows him to see me before I'm able to see him, which means he's able to react to me a lot faster than I'm able to react to him, which um, is gonna make him more proactive and me uh, significantly more reactive, which again, is a, is a problem. So the solution to this is going to primarily be, again, remembering to drive off your tailing foot. So I step in with my tailing foot or my rear foot and I drive off of that tail and my off that tail foot. So you can still mess this up even if you drive off your tail foot and that's primarily going to be by not keeping weight on your lead foot. So if I step in with my tailing foot and I transfer the majority of my weight to that tail foot and then I step, again, I'm going to have a tendency to step and drag. So as you're driving off your tail foot, think about maintaining the majority of your body weight on your, on your lead foot. So that way, when you drive, my, as I'm stepping out with my lead foot, my torso follows. And as a result, my eyes and my gun follow. So again, think about keeping your, your, um, your lead foot loaded. I step in with my tailing foot and I drive my foot and my torso, again, primarily my head and my gun, uh, my eyes and my gun into the next angle. So that way I'm not just stepping out and then dragging myself into the angles I've already triggered. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please like and subscribe. With that, I'm Tyler Austin from Gunger Strategic. Thank you so much for watching.